Hello everyone, you might have come across the fact that some people have a very nice looking curvature in their back and then there are others who have not so very good looking curvature in their back, they are stooping forward, they are hunching their backs, they have rounded back. Why is it so? Let's look at it into detail. My name is Dr. Rakesh Dake, I am a consultant spine surgeon working in Mumbai. So talking about spinal curvature, if you look at the spine from the front, it appears as a straight single column of number of vertebrae, 33 vertebrae stacked on top of each other separated by intervertebral discs. When you look at the spine from the side, the spine has curvature which are different in the different region. So these curvature in the spine are divided into primary and secondary curvatures. The primary curvature means that we were born with this curvature in the fetal position as the fetus was in the curled up position. These were the primary curvatures which were in the thoracic and the sacral region. After the birth, we started accommodating to the external environment stimulus, rotating our neck, responding to the light, responding to noise and started moving our bodies. We started adopting different curvatures in the spine which then started creating secondary curvatures which is in the cervical spine and the lumbar spine which is concave or lordotic is what is the scientific word to describe it. So the primary curvatures in the thoracic and the sacral region are kyphosis or convex and those that develop after birth are secondary curvatures which are in the cervical and lumbar region are called lordosis or concave. Now if you look at this spine from the side hence it is like that shape. So the cervical will be lordotic then there will be kyphotic thoracic then there will be lordotic lumbar and then there will be kyphotic sacral. So that is how the normal spinal curvature looks like. Now you might have seen some people who have the rounded back and hunched back. Now sometimes this can be postural. This is just because of bad sitting habit, bad standing habits. So working on their core muscles or their back muscles or their extensor muscles can help them regain the alignment in the spinal curvature. But sometimes it is in the structure or the anatomy of the spine itself, like Schurman's kyphosis is one of the disease where it is common in the male, but they have rounded or hunched back where the entire spine is kyphotic in the thoracic and the lumbar region. Then is a condition in the lumbar spine where there is loss of lordosis. So instead of the normal curvature in the lumbar spine, which is concave, these people develop flat back. The back becomes like this. Instead of like this curvature, it becomes like this. So that is a flat back, which can happen due to just muscle spasm, or it can happen due to degeneration, wear and tear in the spine, or previous spinal surgery. Now patients with flat back can experience extreme amount of pain in their back or continuous discomfort in the back and might need doing something depending on what are the expectations of the patients. Similarly, in the cervical spine, if this lordotic curvature is lost, it becomes a straight or kyphotic spine, which again can be due to age-related wear and tear or spasm or some other reasons like infection when there is destroying of vertebral bodies and disc that can also impair the alignment of the spine. Now when you look at from the front, instead of the straight spinal alignment, if there is a curvature in the spine in the frontal plane, that is called scoliosis, where there is an abnormal sideways curvature in the spine. Also, when you look from the side and if this kyphosis which was normal in the thoracic region becomes more than what is normal and the entire back becomes rounded or hunched, then that is called kyphotic spine. Now, as some people age, they might have fractures in the spine because of osteoporosis which is called compression fracture. Now, if the compression fractures happen in more than two or three levels, then the entire spine starts to collapse and then they become kyphotic or have hunched back. This we see especially in the elderly population. So that can also be one of the reason for having hunched back or kyphotic back. So that was about normal curvatures in the spine and abnormal curvatures in the spine and why some people have normal, why some people have abnormal curvatures in the spine. So that was all about the curvatures in the spine which are normal and abnormal and why someone has a very nice curvature and why someone has an abnormal curvature in the spine. If you still have any questions about the curvature in the spine and if you think your curvature is not good or you had an x-ray that shows that your curvature is not in the right alignment and if you want to know what can we do about it then please do not hesitate to write the comments below or you can also contact us on the numbers and the email id given below in the description section. 
if you like this video and if you found this useful please hit the subscribe button and like this video thank you